It's a tight fit, but a pair of Bowers & Wilkins 803 D4s do fit in a four-door Jeep Wrangler. What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out another pair of Bowers & Wilkins speakers. These are the 803 D4s. So last year, we checked out the 803 D3s, but this year they have upgraded a few things like the bracing and enclosure and all that. First off, inside the box, we have the accessory box. It says 800 Diamond Series. Inside, it looks like we get some documentation there. The manual for the 801, two and threes. Microfiber Bowers & Wilkins branded cleaning cloth some warranty info and in here we've got the jumpers so these speakers are bi wireable or bi ampable but if you do not want to go that route these are the jumpers this is this little bar here is the little spiked foot stabilization tool so this would slide into the feet and you can use this as kind of like a like a little rod to turn the spiked feet here are little stabilizer feet these actually go on the base of the speakers to stabilize it so keeps it from rocking and this guy here is the little screwdriver which you would use to screw these into the base of the speaker like so we'll take a look at that a little bit later okay to get this unboxed we're gonna have to first remove these panels i like the way they made this box because it keeps it very simple to remove and very simple to put back and it looks like we got one other box here this is the grill. We'll take a look at the grills a little bit later. If you're gonna, um, if you're gonna box these back up, you might wanna save these straps and not cut them because these just slide off. So if you wanna pack it back up, you save these straps so you don't have to tape the box. All right, so then we're gonna remove this piece here. This is the ramp. So you're gonna wanna spin it around. This is the front of the speaker. This part is gonna come off first. Like so, then we're gonna take the little ramp that we removed earlier. So these little nubs are gonna place, get placed into those little inserts. So we're gonna lock it down. Then you're gonna take the speaker. Each speaker has wheels on it, so it makes it easy to slide off. So I'm gonna pull it straight down. I should just roll straight down. And look at that, that's really nice. Take off these little protective covers. So this is different from the 805s. This has a kind of a whitish, almost light grayish leather finish. And this has a nice little texture on it. I believe the 805s, the little ones that I just reviewed, has a slightly different, has a smoother texture. This one has almost a, almost a pebble texture. Kind of nice feeling. And that is real leather. And under this little guy here is the Diamond Dome Tweeter. This whole assembly here, actually both of these assemblies are milled from a solid block of aluminum. So it's super rigid. And in this first enclosure is the one inch diamond dome tweeter. In the second housing is the five inch mid-range with the continuum material. And then under here on the bottom of the enclosure are two seven inch drivers. The speaker does have a frequency response of 16 to 35 K. Size wise, from floor to top, it is 45.8 inches tall. Width wise, it is 14 inches wide. And then depth wise, from front to back, it is 20 inches. I do believe that the 803 D3s from last year, the last gen, is the same height, but, but I believe this version is an inch wider and also an inch taller or an inch deeper. And then weight wise, I believe it's also a little bit lighter than last year's version, which is this is 136 pounds. I think the D3s are 144 pounds. But let's spin this guy around back. Take a look at these connections here on the bottom. So this looks pretty much the same as the D3s. Same kind of connections. These nice high quality binding posts. If you want to use bananas with these, you're gonna have to unscrew these. Take out these little, little plugs. That way you can fit your banana plugs into those. So you will have to remove that first before you use any kind of banana plugs. One more thing here, if you do have to 
call for any kind of service and you're looking for the serial number, the little plate slides off on this. Just push up on it, and this pulls off, and you can get your serial number and all that behind the little plate. So that's where that lives. Then you just gonna take that. As far as the uh, these little stabilizers, so once you get these set in place and you want some more stability on these, that's a little rubber feet. So if you got some hardwood flooring, you would just take this, it goes right down in there. And then you would get your, your plastic screwdriver. You would screw it down like that. Then if you want to cover up that cap, so that would screw down in here. Then once you get that screwed down, it would cover up the hole and it would keep this thing nice and flush. All right, so now this is the bottom of the speaker. So these are the little wheels, which make it easy to move around your house. But if you want, there are some spikes. These are the little caps that are magnetic. They attach to the spiked feet like that. Then you would simply turn this and then you can spike it to your floor or carpet or hardwood floor, whatever you got. So that's a nice little touch once you get this thing situated and measure it out perfectly to your listening position. And there are four of these. There's one there and then one at each corner. All right, for you guys that want to cover up these nice, lovely cones, these attach magnetically, but at least the one for the mid-range, you have to put it a certain way for it to catch. So there's that one. It's a mid-range. And here are the woofers. I actually think this looks better than the last than the D3s because the D3 had that one long single piece. But this one I think looks better because it keeps the, uh, the look of the, the enclosure. So I think that looks pretty clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these things set up with a pair of Cambridge Audio Edge mono blocks, which are 200 watts per channel, or the Parasound JC5, which is 450 watts per channel. But if you guys do wanna pick up a pair of these speakers, reach out to valueelectronics.com and tell them that we sent you. And we'll be back again with the full review.